Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We've got Nat in here with us this morning, and Nat and his wife are down here from North Texas, uh, above Dallas, you said, right? Mm -hmm. And what was the name of your town again? Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon, Texas. And uh, Nat came in, and we had an interesting history taking with Matt because he told me that he'd been diagnosed in the past with fibromyalgia. That was back in 2018, you said, I think. Somewhere around there. And then thoracic outlet syndrome as well that affected out into his right shoulder and arm where he lost his circulation all the way down to his hands and fingers. Now, interesting thing about Nat's history was, I asked him what they did, because he went to the hospital on both of those and had MRI scans and CT scans and medical advice, traditional medical advice for all of these things, and including syncope, which they said you had. Yep but didn't give you a reason nope. why you had it. Nope. And I'm gonna let you tell them because they all think I hate MDs. I don't really hate MDs, <laughs> I just hate a lot of things MDs do on a regular basis when they're yeah. evaluating and treating people because fibromyalgia, for instance, is a very commonly diagnosed condition for medical doctors when you have widespread musculoskeletal pain. Yep. That's just a catch-all diagnosis to them. And in my 40 years experience, most people don't have the true definition of fibromyalgia, but they do have multiple areas of biomechanical and muscular ligamentous issues yeah. going on. Now, if it goes away after an adjustment, is it really right. fibromyalgia? Yeah, right, which you, you know. had biggest success with, you <laughs> yeah, told me. Exactly. And also, you had success with chiropractic adjustments with your out thoracic yeah. outlet, too. And I was telling Dr. Johnson I had issues with my right eye and my right ear, too. My vision and my hearing would get dull. Uh, when my neck was out. I could tell my neck would tighten up and then I would, you know, it'd be harder to see out of my right eye and harder to hear out of my right ear. And then I'd get my neck cracked and it'd go back to normal. Yeah, there you go. Bit, so. so he's had good previous experience with chiropractors, which I'm happy to hear. We're always happy to hear that. Um, nothing really earth shattering in the trauma thing, except he fell down because of dizziness back in that area mm -hmm. a few years ago. And, uh, hit his head on the counter and then fell backwards onto the floor and that's when you went to the hospital you told me and they did the ct scans and mrs on your brain yep and they told you you had syncope that's right yep. which is the reason that you passed out and got dizzy right that's what they said syncope is a lack of oxygen <laughs> and total lack of oxygen as a matter of fact and um, so they don't tell me what causes the lack of oxygen. They say this is probably what caused, you know, the immediate condition that caused you passing out, but they couldn't do anything for me. What they so, recommend, though? I, I honestly don't remember. They they might have recommended something, but... The I, drugs, I'm sure. Probably. Which, here, you take know, this pill for a second. Well, yeah, which I'm going to reject, so... Yeah. Uh, well, that's why you're here today, too, is because we treat things naturally with chiropractic exactly adjustments right. yep. rather than medications or injections Absolutely. or surgeries. Yep. I do notice it, and I notice a lot of you guys out there too, yep. hold your hands out in front of you a lot. I'm just going to share with you, when you hold your hands out in front of you like this, or do this, you're pulling your head and your shoulders forward, so that gives you forward head posture, and that also brings these ribs around and makes them scrunch up on where they attach to the sternum here, because you're moving that cervical thoracic chain of events, and, and that misalignment just develops over time if you do this all the time for instance that's the way your body and your brain are going to adapt that's just the fact of life so better to hold them up behind you we'll show you that in a little bit this is going to be nat's very first adjustment here we've already done all of his history and examination was that thorough by the way no, it's very thorough yeah yeah so a lot of people don't they don't see our exams and histories and everything yeah no, so. that was that was definitely the most time i think anyone's taken with me to go through all that stuff yeah, so good very much so let's lay you on your stomach again face down we're going to adjust your spine on this table first you could almost go hunting today yeah you got your camos on <laughs> now you got a little bit of shortness on his right leg about a quarter of an inch it got even when i brought it up so that's a positive gear field on the right he tightened up a little bit down here but not a lot so i wouldn't classify that as a positive knockless test you can relax these guys right here for me all right i'm gonna start off with your left si joint you feel that move before the table dropped yep me too
these will probably be a little sore at first year nap just because they've been out for a while yep yep mm -hmm. that's it <clears throat> okay wow definitely tight today there we go already she's even now that shouldn't have tightened up as much as that first one but you tell me now yeah. did that feel easier that time that did yeah slide up in here just a little bit for me please now tracy i need to come down here and fix my button <laughs> there we go okay let's oh. turn you on your back now please sir <laughs> A little deeper in person than that. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's come over this way. Just there you go. I'm gonna bring your whole head up and over your spine where it's supposed to be. Now just put both arms straight out sideways, palms up. I'm gonna adjust both your shoulders, your clavicles, and your and chair ribs where they attach to your sternum. You probably never had this adjustment before, huh? No, sir. You can relax your hands on your tummy now. That's the only time I want you to relax your hands on your tummy. <laughs> Let this one go in my hand. You should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back, Dad, did you? <laughs> yes, sir. Good. Oof. All right, same here. There we go. Okay. Good. Now let's sit you face that way for just a moment. Okay, let's come over on this table now, Nat. Okay, Lauren, you got a front row seat right there. <laughs> so on this one, now I'm going to decompress your entire spine from your skull all the way down to your pelvis. Slide down this way, about an inch. There you go. Let your legs just relax. The table's going to lift them up. You, now you can relax your hands back on the tummy again. That's just habit, hold your hands out in front of you like that. It is, really. So when you see him doing that, I'll, yeah. I'll he slaps him upside the head tell you. Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> Wives well, always love that advice. <laughs> okay, on this one, you just want to keep your teeth together, Nat. Don't bite your tongue. Breathe through your nose. With your left ear. There it is. <laughs> Home run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you felt that all the way down, didn't you? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at there, you're still kicking too. <laughs> okay, let this go. Very nice. Yes, sir, just like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Doesn't get much better now for your first adjustment now. <laughs> I'm stunned. We moved earth on that one. You'll probably be sore for about 72 hours after your first adjustment, but that's perfectly normal. Let me help you up here. Nope. Legs over this way. You always want to turn sideways like that. If you sit straight up, you put your spine in flexion. That makes it go out of place quicker. Yeah. You okay? Wow, yeah, I'm still a little stunned. Yeah. Yeah. You'll feel better when it quits hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell my right eye is working better already. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's all brain stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so people that it's don't think that chiropractors are affecting brain neurology yeah. don't know what's going on because the newest scientific literature on chiropractic adjustments affecting the vertebral subluxation complex talks about changing brain function, which is neuroplasticity. The brain's constantly adapting to its environment, both externally and internally. So when you put the spine in a whole different environment, which we've just done, we want your brain to start adapting to that as opposed to the old yeah. fibromyalgia nap. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Here, let's go. Cool. You okay? Yeah, I'm still a little. Uh, yeah, he's standing up straight yeah. already, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He looks taller. All right, I'm going to use this instrument just to bounce your muscles here. Okay. And now I'm going to show your homework. Okay. Look how much we opened that up mm -hmm. on both sides. Shoulder it up back like this for me. Flare these guys here. And then, 
I'm gonna bring that head straight back and then look backwards. You'll feel a little tap on your atlas there. Another one there, now relax. Now try that same move again with your neck and see if this feels any easier this time now. Yeah, very smooth. Yep, cool. It's not kinking up as bad when you go back with no, that time off. Yeah, all that Well, look how your shoulder have. squared off immediately. Yeah. You see wow. that? Yeah. That's exciting. So, Nat, this being your very first visit here at our office, what would you, because you've been to other chiropractors. Yeah, quite a few. And you had good results with these other chiropractors, which yep. I was happy to hear. Yep. Oftentimes we don't hear that, which I was happy to hear you do. Yep. And uh, how would you describe, though, the difference in what you received here at our office today versus your previous uh, experience? Well, you're much more firm. Um, it seems like you use a lot more muscle, or maybe you're just sort of more experienced in my exactly, old strength. Exactly. Right. <laughs> um, but it doesn't hurt. I've had chiropractors before um, where they'll do something that hurts, but even though I felt like you were using more strength, it felt like you were still okay. moving the joints in there and playing your range of motion. Yeah, exactly. And then the ring dinger cannot be described. <laughs> um, but it's oh man. It's awesome. Yeah, I want another one already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. You see some immediate changes too, huh? Feel yeah. immediate changes too. Yeah. Like you talked about cleared your vision up immediately. Yeah. And probably your hearing right now too. Yeah, and I feel Actually. like my voice is a little stronger. Yeah, it is. It, is. it um, is definitely you feel you hearing? That's different. another thing I had issues with. I felt like my voice was really weak when my neck would go out. And you had talked about some generalized weakness feelings in yeah. your upper extremities and lower extremities yeah. from having these neck issues that you've been dealing Definitely. with for so long yeah it'll feel you know even when i'm pushing as hard as i can with my legs it would only feel like i was giving it maybe 60 or 70 percent because that's all you thought you had to give at that yeah. point yeah so uh well good yeah you're gonna be running circles around lauren today man. all right <laughs> you don't need to get adjusted next time excellent i agree <laughs> so uh you came down here from North Texas. I mean, a lot of people travel here from out of state or out of the country even. We had a guy from Malta come in this morning. <laughs> uh, was this worth your trip to come down Absolutely. here to experience this today? Yeah, you really got, if you're gonna spend money on anything in this life, it should be taking care of your body. In yeah, my opinion. true, I agree. Because uh, if, if your body's compromised, it's gonna compromise everything else you're doing. I would fly in to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. Because I'd love to get adjusted. The only person that can adjust me exactly like I adjust is, mm -hmm. is at Palmer right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of my interns. Yeah, so definitely worth the trip, in my opinion. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing your yeah. first experience with everyone thank today, you so Matt. Much, Dr. Johnson. Welcome to Team Ring Dinger. Thanks. <laughs> so, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Matt Nat from North Texas. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll see y'all soon.